My name is Jesse Davis, host of the Penthouse Podcast, where I interview a lot of my longtime friends, some of the members of my club, and some of Wilmington's finest people. I am so excited to do this show, and I hope you will tune in. Thank you. I want to introduce uh, Lenatria and Tim. This is her husband of how many years you've been married? Um, November will be 15 years. 15 years, y'all. Wow. <laughs> And kids? Uh, two kids. Two, two girls. Two, two girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's cool. So the big, big news is that you finally moved to Wilmington. Yes, yes we are officially finally, here. I'm going to take this baby off. I'm getting a little hot. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... So you finally made the big move from yeah. Fayetteville, right? Uh, uh, outside of, like, right outside of Fayetteville, um, really small rural area, um, Garland. But, yes, I'm I'm just so excited. We're excited. I'm just glad to be out of the country. Um, you out know, of the country. Yeah, out of the sticks, okay? <laughs> I, was like, that, I was like, the country? God, that's you really went out of the country. Yeah, I'm just like, it was just, like, at the end, it was, it just went from bittersweet to I'm just ready to go, and I'm ready to explore something new, you know, the next chapter with my family, building our brands, you know, um, building everything that we, you know, set the foundation for. So, like, I'm just truly excited to be here. Like, the energy has been incredible since we've been here in Wilmington. So, like, I'm just, I'm just grateful to be well, here. Well, both of you have such beautiful aura. And I was so glad to have you on today. I was just so excited yeah. about this. And um, I'm excited too. I know it's been now what three, almost three or four years we've yeah. known each other. Mm -hmm. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get picked up again for some other That's show. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, we'll you know, see. Because Wilmington's popping. It now. is popping. You've got popping so much going on here. There's a ton of. I mean, the films and TV is mm -hmm. definitely. It's back. It's it really back. is. It's, it feels it's, good. It's going good. I've started auditioning again and taking some acting classes and. Ooh. We'll see. Ooh. We'll see. I'm just. I might need to get into bit. it too. Yes, I got. I know just the girl for you. Um, but yeah, so Wilmington is it is definitely thriving again with movies and television, and I think I've heard like One Tree Hill's coming back, and I did hear that too. Water the Waterfront was it Waterfront Waterfront the Waterfront. Um, I know that um, Runarounds was I went to the set of Runarounds. Jonas and Jennifer's Pate are uh, directing and producing that, and mm -hmm. I got to go sit on set Early Gardens. It was beautiful. <gasps> oh, I love it. It was just crazy to watch how they move all these sets around and and just orchestrate the all the behind the scenes stuff right. is incredible it's just like the magic of the behind the scenes it really is i mean it was magical that was a good way to put it and um i was happy to be there but yeah those are just a couple new that i know of so i'm sure there's tons of more other things being filmed out there out here in the yeah. works but so yeah moving out here so that's a big change yeah it's been you know it's been a transition like we're still not officially you know settled just yet we've been in airbnbs for like the past month while we you know kind of soared and find the right place so um it's been exciting to say the least you know just getting different you know the experience of different parts around wilmington so it's been exciting um, I am ready to be settled because I do miss my clothes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I miss all of my clothes. Yes, and let's get right into the fashion because you guys are obviously fashionista, oh, fashion forward, thank you. on the cutting edge of all the trends that are going on, which kind of leads right into your your Instagram is really taken off. I mean, what do you have? Seventy, almost eighty thousand followers. Yeah, I do. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. And if you got to check it out, tell us about. Caribbean Cowgirl. So Caribbean Cowgirl, um, which is just an extension of, you know, kind of both sides of me, the rural part, the country part, is, which is how I grew up, and then the Caribbean part of me, which is um, me, you know, my Jamaican heritage. My dad's Jamaican, so I'm Jamaican. I'm an island girl. So um, I just, you know, I want to be able to celebrate both of those parts of me, and it started as, you know, just a brand and, you know, Instagram into a whole, you know, does uh, you know uh fashion label and so now i have shop caribbean cowgirl um that i'm bringing back you know once the transition has smoothed um i've pre shopped my some of my fall items that i've been previewing since new york fashion week and it's been getting like a lot of reception where can they find this where, can, where, where, where could the viewers shop so the viewers um you can go ahead you can shop on shop caribbean cowgirl.com but not just yet, um, as I'm still in transition, so I, I'm not able to ship just yet, so for, give me another month on that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm updating the visuals, I'll have everything so you can see it, and um, even if you wanna pre-order, if we get you know just enough excitement, I'll start the pre-orders earlier than I planned. Try so, to get it before Christmas, get some holiday money? Absolutely, yes. absolutely, <laughs> before Thanksgiving, probably before <laughs> Halloween, so you know. Um, I'm trying to get my merchandise out before the holidays. It's, oh yeah. I kinda skipped a couple of years with, you know, you get ahead of yourself, and. You know, the hoodies and the hats and all that stuff's great and fun because it does 
get your brand out, but it, it's definitely an investment too to make. It, I ended up giving it all away. Like, it's your birthday. It's this. It's that. And right. Like, and so I'm like, ah. So. I, I feel you because <laughs> even like if an order is late, I'll feel bad and I'll add a yeah, gift. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, everybody's got gifts. Like, because Am I making ordered. money doing this? <gasps> That but you, it is cool to see somebody, if you're, you know, like one, so one of my friends is wearing one of the penthouse hats at one of the PGA golf tournaments on television. He was it does feel way. good. Oh, it was actually Zach's dad. Um, actually, awesome. Zach's the producer helping us with the podcast. But his dad and my best friend are, are together and they're actually in Morocco right now. Ooh. Shout out to Becky and Jean. All right, Becky but, and um, Jean. So, yeah, you know Becky, I think. You've met Becky. I think I have met she Becky. She works at Landfall Real Estate. She's been the realtor there for, for a while long time <laughs> yes. but um anyway so you know having this sort of uh, you're you're such a big presence on your instagram how do you keep it somewhat private versus your private life because you, you know where are your boundaries with that well, where you just kind of be like okay maybe that's too much or where i feel like it could just totally take your platform and just be you Honestly, um, well, this will probably be the first time I'm sharing this. I probably for like the past two years, I limited myself on social media just because I was, you know, just dealing with a lot outside of social media. Um, and by a lot, I mean you had some haters too. Yeah, some haters, Get big some haters. haters out. Okay, Bye. the you biggest haters, up. unfortunately, Taboo. you know, were my husband's parents, and they were our oh, next man. door neighbors. And so, because his mother was in the school family. system, he she's really family. Does. My oldest daughter rode grandma's bus to school. She went to school with grandma, so she was heavily influenced negatively by grandma. So oh. it was just like so much that I wanted to do. Um, I just decided to kind of halt and, and pause because I really saw how negative she was and anything that we do, it was, it was made to be negative. It to be, yeah, yeah, it was fun to be negative to, and I didn't want my daughter to resent me. And I talked about her since we moved and she said she was like getting there and that's what grandma wanted her to do. So like realizing how deep it was for the past two years, I kind of minimized my presence and I honestly just realized how much it was depressing me. So now I'm just excited to put more of myself Surround back out there. Surround yourself with people that genuinely yeah. care for you, love for you. And are happy for me when exactly. I put out content. Want to lift you up. Yes, yes, same, yes. Same, yes. same. I've definitely had some struggles this past year with some friendships that kind of went down the tubes, unfortunately. And, you know, you, we all make mistakes. I think we're all entitled to mess up every now and again. Right. But, um, but as far as family, God, that could be so difficult. Because I know I struggle i mean i love my family but my brother and i butt heads but um that's just kind of natural i guess with siblings right. but having to deal with the family next door and and you know you just want to you want to keep a happy happy environment right i just wanted and, yeah. everything to be happy i didn't want it to be more toxic than it already was because i felt how toxic it was and everything that i knew was happening my daughter eventually admitted that grandmother was saying so it's just like so she was like right out of the mouth yeah like, like she was just like yeah well, grandma was talking junk about how you how did you handle that tim like being kind of in the middle um <laughs> it's like yeah, smile and wave and yeah they, like it, it's, <laughs> It's my wife and my grandma. So yeah, like, but I got the same treatment as her. You okay. Know, um, were they just they, didn't? Were you think they were just confused about did, what you were doing? Did yeah, that's what. Sometimes the older people. folks think it kind of could go sort of pornographic or it's no. They was hating. Yeah. They were oh. just hating. Yeah. They like, definitely didn't understand the entrepreneurship. Okay. The you know? attention that we got that, yeah, when we would go out, out, or the attention that. I got when I would go to like my daughter's Anywhere. orientation and she was there for orientation because the grandma worked in the middle school. So then she saw like the other teachers reactions and like, oh, my God, Caribbean cowgirl. And they were like taking pictures with me. And like, instead of lifting you up, she's bad. She was like over in the corner like, oh, I'm a celebrity, too. <laughs> like, really? And like, like, let me get a little piece of the pie. <laughs> and that's and that's what it felt like. And that was the sad part, because I'm just yeah. like, like, don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate the game, boo. Right. Like, I, this is what I do. I loved what I do. You you typically like to be in the background, and that's fine. So don't be offended when I'm in the front shining. And so, but unfortunately for me, that's something I experience a lot is people get, they'll drawn to the aura, mm -hmm. and then they'll come around and they'll start hating because they're hoping that I'm fake or they're, they're hoping that they're there's something negative. They're looking for something negative, something negative yeah. in there to poke, to poke at. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you know, yep. you know. But yes, I do. And so, unfortunately, it was just like, it happened to be my in-laws this time, the success, seeing their son elevate from, you know, working, you know, driving CDL trucks, and so now it seems like he's doing more than what they could imagine. Job. It 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 I mean, was. You're not sleeping, you're driving, like, thousands of miles in a couple yes, of days. Yes, yes. And trying to get that next 
shipment, you know. And, right. and God knows he that. almost you, you lost really his have life. To, you have to sacrifice your family for that career, too. Exactly. You, I didn't oh get to gosh. see the family like that. Well, mm-hmm. here you are now. So things right, are, right. Think so you're in a better direction, a better path. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. I'm very proud of both of you. Thank you, Jesse. You look phenomenal. Thank God, you, all right. So let's, all right. So when I met you, you were, you had this whole, your whole concept was basically taking like, consignment thrifts or in turn like picking it and you know redesigning it and, and sort of styling yeah. stuff for people that you know c- aren't going to go out and spend twenty thousand dollars on an outfit you right. can put together something looks just as good if not better and can yes cause <laughs> I, I love that and Thank you. you know my mother owned a thrift store out in kinston um oh. it was an old garage and she loved it i mean she was just a, such a, like it was and she i mean she would literally give away a lot to back to charity and things like that but she'd go in there, and as a kid, it was so hard for me to find clothes that fit because of my size and, like, you know, I'm, like, 5'7", 120 pounds, like, mm-hmm. 26 weight. Oh, yeah, waist. snatched. So everything's, <laughs> like, yeah. so everything's just, like, hard for me to, like... So when she'd get me some of the secondhand thrift stuff, it fit me better than the stuff from the store. Oh, yeah. Because it had already been washed before. Mm-hmm. It was, like, you know... And it was good tailoring yes, on it. Yes, mm-hmm. it was fit me. Yes. So, yeah, I always kind of, like, still, um, one of the things about her that I, she's Aww. still like, oh, I got to see some stuff. Now she gets me glasses for the bar, like, because I'm, I'm obsessed with the shot glasses with the stems on them. Uh-huh. But, so they don't look so, like, you know. Shot glasses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have 70, almost 80,000 followers on Instagram, Caribbean Cowgirl. It's, it's your brand. So you're going into brand consulting, I hear. Yes. So tell uh-huh. us what a brand consultant is. Um, so for me, um, brand consulting, um, I'm just using my, I've using my expertise as influencer, like being an influencer from small brands to major brands and kind of flipping that back to, you know, business owners, entrepreneurs, or even people trying to get into the influencer game, you know, how to present yourself, what it's supposed to look like, um, some of the great things that you should learn, the foundations, but just some of the great key things that I've learned along the road that have really helped me. Mm -hmm. Um, There's so many things, learning how to connect, learning how to talk to people. Um, I've just, I've learned so much that I've watched from major brands doing that I've implemented when I worked with smaller brands, things that I turned around and implemented into my brand that I was able to use to turn $200 into over uh, $260,000 worth of sales. So, um, you know, it was exciting for me and I want to be able to help other people do that because I did not have credit while I did all of that. Mm-hmm. That was something I did, you know, just coming out of bankruptcy. So it literally took my skill. It, it literally took me learning these things um, from fashion psychology, brand psychology, um, promoting the ideal versus just the product, um, which is some of the things I want to help people understand when mm-hmm. it comes to brand consulting. Cause that's and being the mother of two little girls, I mean, you're, you're their role model and mm-hmm. they look up to you and, this is true. and you want to be able to show them that, you know, yeah, you, might have had a little fumble in your life it doesn't mean it's the end you can always right. start over I you, mean, can start you can over. start over you're powerful you're smart you're amazing put your mind like, to it you don't have to wait for anybody um if you need help ask for it don't be scared to ask for help don't be afraid to celebrate yourself don't be afraid to speak your truth um because a lot of the times in my lowest moments and i shared on social media my audience is what lifted me up mm-hmm. and um that's something that i want my daughters to know don't be afraid to speak whenever you feel low because whatever you don't say it's going to hurt you more Mm -hmm. so speak up for yourself Um, that's a part of my influencer platform so it's more than just about you know clothes and hair and Mm -hmm. all that stuff just speak up for yourself speak your truth don't be a bully don't be Be a bully don't be mean love yourself and if you can't say nothing nice girl shut it up that's right you know because it's enough mess out here there is and and we really don't need any more of it and whatever you put out is going to come back to you. Mm, amen. And a lot of, that's one of the biggest influencer game tips that people do not. That was a big question. I don't mean to interrupt you. Is mm-hmm. um, The big one was like influencing, influencers. It's such a big, powerful word it nowadays. Is. And people are getting paid to be influencers. I mean, but you know, I, but when I was a kid, I did, I was modeling and stuff. And that was, I guess, the way I influenced. But, you know, I got a check. So I was getting paid to do a job. A lot of people now are paying photographers to take pictures of them and to put themselves online. Whereas like, you know, that's really, you're not, that's not, you're not, you're it's not really not a model. Right. You're just, <laughs> you're taking good pictures of yourself and putting them out there. And you see people airbrush the hell out of oh. things and all the filters and like you are, y'all are both so naturally beautiful. Thank you. I hardly ever see a filter. You don't really use no, them. No, I don't, I don't use them. And uh, kind of funny, I do. <laughs> I you feel really like, don't need it. <laughs> thank you. Like I feel neither, like. Neither one. Well, I speak to both of you as a unit, you know that. Thank you. I feel like I maybe have body dysmorphia just a a tad bit. So it's just like if I put a filter. Right. 
It keeps you snatched. Okay? <laughs> I, got, I got to say snatched. Okay. <laughs> um, like, if I put too much of a filter, if I do too much makeup or, or I get it's too That's much edits, start I can't, shit. right, I can't recognize myself. And if I can't recognize myself, then how are other people going to recognize me if they meet me in person? Exactly. And so, They're like, oh, God, this girl, like, who she says that? she's going to be. But, yeah, so the influencing thing is such a, it's such a big deal. And I don't, like, a lot of people say that, and I'm like, okay, what actually makes you an influencer? So there's so many levels to influencing, but to me, an influencer, anybody who is able to put themselves out there for the cause of either promoting themselves, um, promoting their products within their community, uh, there's so many levels to influencing. Is though. It, are they necessarily, a, because you're an influencer, can you be a a positive influence like you should be or are there such a thing as negative influencers there's definitely out there? a lot of negative influencers out there and sometimes it's unfortunate because whatever they is popular <laughs> yeah people are whatever is popular negativity is pushed all, a lot of times on the algorithm so people will push negativity they'll you know come up with something controversial and because they're doing all that for views they don't realize how much it's going to affect them and make them negative in the long at run at the end of the day if you notice that people like come out with this bad attitude and then you turn around a couple weeks later they definitely you, they've gotten a back right they're real humble and hey guys they want to get their followers back yeah right apology (laughs) train and um to me that's just apology train (laughs) i I never you know i always want to do it sincere like there's a lot of people who aren't sincere with it it's more so about money for me as an influencer it's more about whatever i'm into right now that i can honestly promote that i'm honestly into there's not for me i don't promote stuff that i'm not into Mm -hmm. i've had offers to promote things right you got to be passionate i don't want to promote something i'm not into because then it's a lie and i'm not getting paid that much to lie like (laughs) (laughs) they're not giving you that much so paid promotion to lie no it's like yeah no which you know you be in the eye excuse me the eye behind the camera in photography i mean that's sort of your you've been having her in front what is she's your muse i guess you would call it so tell us a little about your photography and what you enjoy about it. Yeah, I like to keep it natural. Um, I do do fashion photography, so I like to be true to the products. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do a lot of natural light photography, natural scenes. I don't do too much dramatic lighting. I do do it, um, but for her brand, Shop Caribbean Cowgirl, we mostly keep it natural. Um, and you know what? That's what's going to come back. I think it's definitely going to take all the plastic surgery and all the things that people are doing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking too bad on myself. I've definitely been, you know, dabbled with not plastic surgery, but you know, Botox just and a little things touch. like little touch ups and things like that. But I don't get crazy with it. It's just enough sometimes. But um, yeah, I think it's getting to a point where people want that natural beauty to come back. They mm-hmm. want to see women that look like themselves. I mean, how can you're like whitening your teeth? You're making your waist look smaller. You're mm-hmm. making your arms, men are, you know, putting muscles in places that they don't really have muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and bulges too. Bulges too. I love a good bulge. <laughs> My God. So um, maybe the bulges will cost you two kids, right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, this has been great. And so, um, where are you? Where about? Where are you in town? Like, what's where's the new place? Are you um, saying Airbnbs right yeah, now? Yeah. So we're Airbnb and. Um, Probably like 10 minutes from here. What is that place, babe? I'm, I'm still new, so I don't know. Uh, May, in the Mayfair area. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. cool. Um, all right, so my favorite thing, one of my funny things about you. Well, actually, the last time you guys have been coming to the penthouse, I've seen you a couple here the last couple of weeks here and there. You, you definitely spot in with a, a big entrance. You're very, you look like you both just came off of a, you know, Vogue runway. Aww, I swear. Thank you. Um, and you just make people feel so good when they're around you. and. It brings you to that. We were, where did we go? We were having dinner. Oh, Origins. Origins. Oh, Tell us yeah, about that little, what do you remember from that? Night? <laughs> <laughs> that was her first time trying raw oysters. Yeah. Oh, Royal, oh, was, I love oysters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the first time I actually tried oysters, and I've probably been eating them ever since. Oh, so, like, good. That was just. Yeah. That I like was, the small ones. Yeah. It was a lot for me, like, in the best ways, just, like, meeting everyone. And, and, and Jesse, you <laughs> were a great time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was, they just opened Origins, too. Mm-hmm. We were, oh, yeah. yeah. That was so much fun, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, but it t- like the whole thing that happened with the Bravo TV show that was sort of disappointing. But that was definitely disappointing. it. Probably just wasn't our time at that time, I guess. You know, I don't think it was. And honestly, with everything that's happening in Wilmington now, I feel like it's going to be extremely organic, and it's things are just something fun- will happen again. It's going to happen mm-hmm. again. Um, Wilmington, like 
I didn't realize how many people were actually recognizing us that already lived here. Um, Remember there were women that, was, that we, you and you were at Origins were like, oh, I recognize you. And I was just like, oh my God. Ah, yeah. So it's just like, it, it's exciting for me still. And it's going to always be exciting for me when people recognize me just because it's just like, well, I'm honored that you follow me because yeah. you don't have to, you don't have to be into my content. I know it's not for everybody. So I'm just always very grateful. So in order to keep the, keep the fresh content coming what are some of your future endeavors that you see coming for the caribbean cowgirl uh, actually i feel like I, well i'm going to be expanding from from shop caribbean cowgirl to lenitria the label lenitria the label so i'll mm -hmm. be stepping into Stay my tuned. design space okay. um officially with my um design so that's one thing that i'm that's coming forward but also i'm going to be stepping into the um motivational speaker space Ooh. and um, speaking space. Good TED talk. There. Yeah, very TED mm -hmm. talk. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I will just, be in the front row. Oh, you thank sure. you. Like I've, um, just from so many topics of influence, the importance of influence, um, you know, how to put yourself out, how to project confidence. So many people um, always talk about my appearance and what I do, and I want to be able to share the importance of how to project confidence and mm -hmm. what you wear does that and in so many ways, from head to toe, wig to shoe, <laughs> it, all of it matters. Okay, you just said the magic <laughs> word. Ding, ding, ding. Wigs. So this girl could change her looks like you would not believe. I mean, I guess I, I know I've wore some wigs for some Halloweens for random costumes, and I do feel like I fall into that role. When you put this wig on, your whole persona kind of changes. Yes, yes. I think that's why a lot of people having sex and married and role playing. Mm -hmm. Cause Absolutely. Because it's like you get to have a different person but the same person. It's a fun it's time. That's <laughs> correct. It's a fun. It's a fun time. <laughs> what are you gonna be tonight? It's a fun it ain't time. Cheating I don't, if I don't you're just have changing no your hair out a little bit. Right. It ain't cheating if it's just a new wig. Okay. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You brought some. Wig. Hey, really quick though, Nate, would you mind putting together a little cocktail for us? We've been doing this signature cocktail every week. Ooh. So uh, this week, he, he's going to come out and give us a quick little brief description of what he's I got. I love a little drinky drink. But in the meantime, let's talk about these wigs. Let's get into these wigs. I brushed them out a little bit before I got here because I was just like, I know it's going to be Should I try time. one on? Yeah. I, you know what? And that's why I pulled this one out first. It's very Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. I was just like, you know, it just... Oh, God, did you see that comment Britney Spears made about it? I did. Why are you kissing an alien? That's so weird. So weird. Oh, like Britney. <laughs> Poor thing. We're the same age too. I, don't know. I look like cousin. You know, I should put it in the front. I look like cousin. Nick. Oh, and just give us a give us a little peep. <laughs> I need my sunglasses on right now. Oh, actually, do I have sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> here, hold on. You gotta do it. The, where's the shades? Come oh, on. I have them. I Here's have the them. Shades. Since Halloween is coming up, we might go. Yeah, this is it. A slay. Go for it. Oh yeah. Happy Halloween. Oh, from, here you go. From cousin Nick. Yes. Cousin Ooh. Nick. Oh, so welcome to the podcast today, y'all. We appreciate you coming by. Oh my by. gosh, I love <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, burn it up. All right, so that's that one. You got the what's the you got any more? Um, so that one's my Wait, blonde. So Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, my Sabrina Carpenter. Look, and I haven't even had a drink yet today. She has her please, please, please bangs in the front. Yeah, please, <laughs> please, please, please. That, this is totally cousin it though. <laughs> From the back. <laughs> From the back is the total Sabrina Carpenter's cousin. God, it. she's got her little clamp in there. See? <laughs> this is like straight up like pure gold. That's my pink wig. She's when I'm really she's sassy so in the mood and I'm not I'm not ready to play. I'm just here to slay. She's like just here. Yes. You know, okay, very Nikki. <laughs> okay. Yes. I look like little kid when I'll crack. Yes. <laughs> not do what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> not I was, see, I was agreeing to Little Kim because I love, I love, I love Little Kim. Yes, everybody that knows me knows I, I can sing every song she's me ever put too. out there. She's literally like one of my top, like yeah. absolutely top. Me too. I was listening to Foxy Brown on the way here. You got to have a J O B if you want to be with me. Oh yeah, no romance without finance. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Yay. Finally, it's cocktail time. Ooh. Right on the time, right? Six o'clock, baby. Mm -hmm. A minute to Thank spare. Thank you. Is my, is my, does my shit look all right? Oh, it looks great. <laughs> what, you got one more in there? Um, I do. I have my red one, which is uh -oh. like, that's, that's the one. Sassy. Yeah, that's the one that actually gets me in trouble. Like, I have to be <laughs> careful because, uh, yeah, like. The red wig, it's still like in pink curl, so it's still. Damn, has, that's like some damn uh, curly, what's her name? Um, the little one, not Curly Sue. Uh, not any. What's Betty Boop? Oh, Boop, very Betty Boop. Boop. When I take the curls out, yeah. like, it's really, I, yeah. 
So right now she's just like she's in pre precess. See, very precess. Like, <laughs> it's just like listen, I'm getting ready. I got a cigarette. I'm in my <laughs> I'm in my robe. Haven't been to bed yet? Yes. <laughs> it's been a wild room. night. I'm gonna have a wild day. Yes. Let's keep it going. <laughs> yes. Very sassy. I'm... All right, Nate. Tell us what's in these cocktails. So we got a little summertime Here, speak in the mic. style. Mm-hmm. Which speak is... in the mic. You can swing it to you. Gotcha. Got a little summertime style refresher, which is perfect for you know those 90 degree almost October days. Like so we today. have fresh muddled lemon, mm-hmm. some blueberries, a little touch of mint, all shaken up on top of a little bit of Sprite. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Cheers. Mm, Thank you. Cheers. 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 Delicious. Delicious. Yum. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Mm. 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 I've been waiting all day for that. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I love a drink with mint in it. So I want you to give yourself some sh- plug away, give your shout outs. Obviously okay. your Instagram is one thing, but the store. Okay, so guys, you can follow me on Caribbean Cowgirl on Instagram. Shop Caribbean Cowgirl on Instagram. And I almost forgot to mention that I am going into the YouTube space. Um, because it's new for me, I almost forgot. Uh, I am going to be on YouTube. It's going to be Caribbean Cowgirl. So all the announcements are going to be on my social media. Everything that I do will be linked through my link tree on um, my Caribbean Cowgirl Instagram, including my brand consulting and my styling services, which I'll be offering as well through our um, through our p- photography and our production. So that's how you can find me. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, too. Tim. Yeah. yeah. So when you go to um, photography by Tim Ellis dot com. In my portfolio, it has Shop Caribbean Cowgirl. You can check out the shots that we did around town, downtown Wilmington. Well, basically all over Wilmington. Y'all are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you did a shoot. I did one in front of the federal building, and I saw yours up there. It's so fun to shoot in front of that It is. Oh, my God. Your pictures were so – they were Mm -hmm. so good. Lee Roberts. Amazing. She did amazing. Yeah, she's awesome. She's like – We did a calendar. That's going to come out soon. It was so – you know what it gave? Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, that's what it you. gave. Thank you. That's what it gave. Thank you. Mm-hmm. If you know me in person, you'd be like, it's more like you don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, so you've made it to Wilmington. You're, you're 80,000 deep with your, with your Instagram. Things are good. You look happy. You look healthy. I feel happy and healthy. I'm excited. You to- haven't aged a single minute since I met you. <laughs> I'm not Thank even you. kidding. It's, it's, it's the Jamaican jeans. It's really the Jamaican jeans. Because if I take this, this if I take this wig off and I take this makeup off, I'll look 18. And <laughs> you know what? I do. So that's why I usually keep it on because people think I'm super young and then they don't respect me. So then I have to, <laughs> I have to go full glam so they understand that I'm that girl. Let's look at those you know shoes. What? Throw those shoes on the camera. My God, those Casual, are some cool just, shoes. And they I actually look celebrate kind of for my birthday they too. Are. My birthday was the 18th. I haven't had a chance. Everything has been going on so fast. I haven't had a chance well, to celebrate. Well, happy birthday. Yeah, well, this yeah. is sort of a mini celebration. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. So, um, can I ask how young? 41. 41. 41. good age. Mm-hmm. Not about, I, hell, I'm going to be 40-something. Yes. 40-something. <laughs> 41. I'm 43, okay? People oh, know. that's the same I'll be, thing. I, saying 44 is hard for me. I don't know why. It's like 44. So I like, Jesse, ah. I would have never guessed, like, no, in, even in the 40s. I'm owning whatever age I'm in. I yeah, mean, me you too. can't really, I mean, I it just, doesn't matter. I just want to look good for whatever age I am at yeah. this point. Yeah. It's just look a number. Good, feel okay. good. I mean, look at about. Jane Fonda. She's just turned like 87. And, and she's, she's snatched. Like, Hell yeah. Forever snatched. She's Hell. forever a role model to me. <laughs> she's like, me too. Okay. I love a little woman. Okay. And little Kim. Yes. Like, what is she, 5'1 or something? She's like 4'11. Four four she's even <laughs> shorter than I thought. Uh, so, yeah. like, And I love you, Jesse, because as a petite person, you get it. Like, there's a lot that we have to deal with being petite, and people will treat you a certain way and people mm-hmm. think they can manipulate or push you or oh it must be nice because you're so pretty yeah oh you're so skinny I'm yeah like, oh, no. you know it's me? lucky I guess I wish I had that eating t- all the damn chips and soda and you'd be my size thank you <laughs> thank you because don't be mad at me because I'm little I uh, know okay my last question are you a shopaholic yes Yes. What makes you a, technically a shopaholic? Just shopping and shopping until you just can't shop till you drop. I have to have it. If I see it, Got I have to, to have, have it. it. And I have to have it in multiple colors because <laughs> I already know if I love it. If then the I'm shoe gonna... fits, buy every color. That's, and I, that's where I was yesterday. <laughs> that's exactly where I was yesterday, planning my fall, winter outfits and planning for boots and planning for denim. And so I'm just like, I need boots. Like, I really need boots. So, like, I've already been plotting, but... 
I've learned to be smart about it. Like, I'll if I can't make five outfits in my head, I won't buy it. So, nice. like, I'm, I'm a shop interchangeable things, right? And- if I can't if I can't mix and match it a few times, then I'm not gonna do it. But if it's like a real, real, real standout piece, I can justify it. I'm so. all about some accessories because yeah. belts. Men don't really have too much too many options compared to females. Mm, but like no, a good time. belt, a good watch. Now with the watches, like I hate that I have a beautiful drawer of like watches that we don't wear anymore because we're also technologically advanced yes. with these that like you know i don't know why i just quit wearing them but Sometimes they're, they're there i'll wear a dead watch that i got just, from a thrift store just right some old michael nice kors days. ones yes. yes i have some bottega ones of some nice yes. ones i don't have any of those real real fancy ones not yet yeah it's just like a if fancy you're listening person. out there my future husband a Rolex wouldn't be too bad. Period. Birthdays okay. in February. I know that's right. You know, if you don't say it, you won't get it. That's right. Put okay. it out there. Looking for a house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not expensive, but nice. Period. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> is there anything you guys can think of to ask our um, our guest today? Leave anything out? Well, I love your makeup and your hair. I don't know if you want to go into that. But oh, yeah. Like, you Oh yeah! Thank you mm-hmm. for thank you for saying that because yes, I'm going to be doing hair, makeup, the styling, like all of it, the works. Um, for a long time, I honestly kind of downplayed like my makeup skills because I was just like, oh, well, I'm just slapping it on there. But I was like, oh, I guess I'm no, not. Your eyes are like piercing. Thank just you. that little slight little white. The white. Line. <laughs> Thank it does. You. Thank you. That's well, actually the trade. It, it, now that one, this one is actually a trick of the trade. It's like a photography trick, but also a drag queen trick. Um, because <laughs> that's the contouring. Yes, I love yeah. the way drag uh, drag queens contour. So everything is like. Yeah. Up. So it snatches <laughs> yes. up to the eyes and then the white underneath. If you have like a white eye, like you have a very good white eye, the white eyeliner will bounce the light off and it'll make your eyes pop a lot more. So um, that's something that's like a photography trick, but also something that I've seen like, you know, on Drag Race. So uh-huh. like it's my go to and people always compliment my eyes. So I'm just like, OK, so this is the trick that really works. So um, it's kind of like, you know, t- teaching people how to kind of play up. Well, the world features. needs more of the two of you. I you know what? Think. And I'm going to be. Um, since we're going to be shooting more in the city, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to be open to one-on-one coaching. Um, oh, very cool. One-on-one camera training and retouching. Yeah. Well, so, um, that would be... Yeah, and photography walks. Like, he's yeah, being yeah. modest. There's going to be photography One-on-one photography. Walks, photography um, um, fashion photography walks. I love, actually, I love doing photo shoots when I'm on the go. Like, I don't like to just sit on a set and do... You're just sort of outside is always I'm running. I'm jumping off of stuff. Yeah, I like to do. I I like to live and it's just like I like for it to look real life and I like for it to just kind of feel. And whenever you look back on it, it's just like I remember. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you feel better and you feel the moment. You feel the excitement and whatever you're doing in that moment, if it's captured right, the people will feel it, too. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one of the things about photography that people really don't understand. If it's not captured properly, it really won't matter. Um, Mm -hmm. It has to be conveyed through um, editing how much you feel and how excited you are or if you're trying to give sass that's what the makeup and the contouring and the shaping of the look does and so um those are some things that i'll be talking about on the youtube but we'll also be doing in the walks and the consulting Mm -hmm. so like all of the tricks of the trade i'm dropping tea (laughs) (laughs) drop the tea girl i love it so that's what we're all about here on the pet nose podcast um, so yeah, well, thank you so much, guys. Thank this was such a pleasure us. to have you. We'll definitely have you on again. Yeah. Um, I do have my co-host Monica. She's not here this week, but um, she'll be here next time, and I would love for you to meet her. Awesome. And um, I hope to see you around the penthouse some more. Oh, of course. I love the both of you, and I'm, I'm so proud of you for finally like making that step and getting away from Grandma. Yes, we did. Sorry, it. Grandma. Y'all better be nice. <laughs> right. So when you see me on TV, don't don't try to be nice. <laughs> Act like you knew me. Okay. <laughs> Send flowers. Be nice. It's a good way to make up. Right. Kiss and make up. Mm-hmm. Send me a pair of new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I always say either we will or we won't. It's one or the other. Right. I'm here with open arms. Like I said, I've had some I've had some falling outs this past year with some really good friends and it sucks and you can only apologize and make the effort so many times to where it's like okay. Right. Can't if you apologize anymore. and you're attempting to make it right, that's Especially one thing. Especially when it's a genuine right. feeling. You know? It's a genuine apology, it's a genuine accountability, it's yes. genuine but you know, it was never even that. Like even before we left, it never even gave that. They we never got an apology, and Tim's dad said some things to me. It was just like oh, he said I was the worst thing that ever happened to his son. I, yeah. 
like you know, it's there. really hard to believe when you see what you're looking at. And, and right. so I was just like, that's how I know you hate, because now you're just lying. Yeah, my friends, <laughs> I've got friends that are more <laughs> closer to me than family, you know, and I don't. The blood stick in the water thing doesn't really flow too. It doesn't my matter world, to either. me, because all my family blocked. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Well, I'm I'm your family. If you'll adopt oh, me, oh, you I, are I, my I, family. I love that. Well, thanks for being on today, guys, Thank and uh, we'll see you next time. Us. Thanks. Aww.